We've all been there. You hear that email notification tone from Gmail. However, you just don't know who it was that sent it. But what if I told you that anyone using Android can set up Gmail in a way that allows you to assign specific notification alert sounds? Sadly, this process is not straightforward, but it is possible. And we'll be using the Tasker application to accomplish this goal. Honestly, you would think that such a feature would be built right into the Gmail application, right? And it's interesting to learn that at one point in time, Gmail used to have a feature that allowed you to create a label, assign a specific ringtone to it, and then you would hear that alert rather than your default sound. But as Android has evolved and it has gained certain features like notification channels, the ability for Gmail to offer such a feature just disappeared. Anytime you look up this task, you're going to get some instructions from forum threads or an AI summary that seems like it's going to be an easy setup. But it's actually just a dead end since the options are no longer there within the Gmail app. And I'll also say that I'm not the biggest fan of Tasker either. I have always felt that the user interface was too complex for what most people are going to accomplish with it, but I do respect the history that it's had within the Android community, and I'm proud to have been able to watch it evolve over time. I always try to create tutorials like these with free apps so that the guy doesn't end up leaving anyone out, but as of right now, this is the best path forward for the task at hand. I am welcome to hearing any other solutions though. So if you know of ways to play different notification sounds for different email addresses that send you an email through Gmail specifically, then let me know in the comment section below. As of right now, the Tasker app is priced at about $3. And at that price, I highly recommend anyone pick it up who has any interest in setting up automation on their device. And for anyone else who thinks Tasker is too difficult to set up, I'll be able to walk you through every step along the way here in today's guide. The first thing that we need to do is create the filter within Gmail to assign a custom label to emails that come from a specific email address. And this is done by first loading up the Gmail website within a web browser. And if you do this on the phone, you will need to enable desktop mode from this drop down menu before you gain access to the feature that you need to find. So when you load up Gmail through the website, look up at the top and you're gonna see a search field. And at the far right of that search field, you'll see an icon like this. So we're gonna tap on this icon and that's gonna bring up a form that looks like this. So what you want to do is add the email address that you want a custom Gmail notification tone for you want to add that email address into the from tab. So right here, I'll go ahead and add my work email. And then we're going to tap on the create filter button within that form. So you can see we are creating a filter for emails that come from this email address. And we're going to tap on the checkbox for the apply the label option. So we need to make sure that is active. And then we're going to tap on this drop down menu and add a label to it. So you can set it to a previously created custom label, or you can create a new label from here. The goal is to just make sure that we are assigning a label to the email address that we want to get those custom alerts from. 
I'm going to be using test three as my label for this video, but you should just name it whatever you want. I recommend making it short without any spaces to make sure that there aren't any issues along the way. But when you're done, we're going to go ahead and tap on that create filter button down here at the bottom. The next thing we need to do is make sure we're getting notifications from emails with that label. So we focus our attention back to the Gmail application. And again, we're going to dive into the settings area. So we tap on the hamburger menu in the top left corner, scroll down that menu, and you'll find the settings option from there. That will take you to a page with a menu that lists general Gmail settings and settings specifically for your email address. So we're going to tap into your actual Gmail account that's listed there. Then from here, we scroll down a little bit and we're going to tap on the manage labels option. And this page is going to list every label that you have added to Gmail. So go through this list and find the label that you created for that special email account. We're going to tap on it and you're going to have some options here. The first thing that we need to do is make sure that we are syncing these messages. So you're going to tap on this option up here at the top and then you can either sync the last 30 days or you can sync all of them. It's up to you as either of these two choices will work with the rest of this setup. Once you have sync set up, we're then going to enable both of these checkboxes. So we do want label notifications and we want to be notified for every message in that label. So make sure both of these are checked. Now, to accomplish what we actually want here, we need to have two apps installed. We need to have Tasker, and we need to have a plugin for Tasker called Notification Listener. And I'll have links to both of these apps down in the video description below for anyone who needs a quick way to find them. The plugin is actually free, and Tasker just costs a few bucks. So let's go ahead and open up Tasker. And the first time you open it up, you will be asked to grant the app a few permissions for it to work properly. So go ahead and do that. And you're going to be asked if you want the simple setup method or the full advanced user interface. And we're going to go with the full advanced interface so we have access to all of the features. Go ahead and look at the bottom right corner for this plus button. We're going to tap it and then we're going to create a new profile here. From this drop down menu, we're going to select an event. And as that event, we're actually going to scroll down and choose plugin. Now, since you have notification listener installed, you'll see that in the list. So we're going to tap on that. And that's going to show another drop down menu where again we're going to select the notification listener option. We're going to tap on the pencil icon here to go to the configuration page. And then from here, we're going to tap on the app selector icon here, which is this grid of dots. This will give us a list of our apps that we have installed go through here, find the Gmail application, and then we'll select it. And tap on the checkbox at the top right to confirm. Then we're going to back out of this page, and we're going to back out of that page. This is going to take us back to the Profiles tab, and a new pop-up menu should appear asking if you want to assign it a task or create a new task. So we're going to tap on new task and we can name this whatever we want. 
So at the task edit page, again, we're gonna tap on the plus button in the bottom right corner. And we'll scroll through this list so that we can select the media option. And then from this list, we're gonna select play ringtone. So we're gonna have a type listed up here at the top. We're gonna to change that from alarm to notification. And then we're going to tap on the magnifying glass icon associated with that sound. It's going to do a media picker. So we can actually find a notification ringtone that is unique and very easy to distinguish from others. Once we have selected that, we tap back. And we have a very important step here. We have an if option with a plus icon next to it. So this is going to set up a conditional because we don't want this to play every time we hear that email, we hear an email come in. We only want this to play when emails from a specific label or from a specific email address come in. In this left column, we're gonna make sure the value says percentage N L S U B T E X T. We're gonna keep this icon right here, which stands for matches. We're gonna keep that in there. And then in the right column, the second value, we're actually gonna type in the label that we added in Gmail. And this is case sensitive. So you saw I had a label set as test three, all lowercase, no spaces. So I'm going to enter that here. And this is a call to the notification listener app to look for the text that matches test three. So let's tap back and then tap back again. And then we're gonna tap on the check mark at the top here. That's going to save the profile and the task that we just created. We are getting close to being finished, but there's a few more steps to complete. The biggest right now is granting permissions that are asked by the notification listener app. So go ahead and open it up. You'll see a pop-up appear asking to grant a few permissions. So follow the onboarding process and make sure that this app does have access to your notifications. From here, there are a couple of routes that we can go through. Firstly, the way things are set up right now your Gmail app is still going to play the default notification sound when an email with your custom label is sent. So if we keep things the way they are right now, the Gmail app will play that default notification sound when the email comes in. And then the custom sound that we set up for Tasker will not be able to play since there's already a ringtone that's being played. To work around this, one option is to set up a delay within the tasker task screen. So we do this by making sure we're on tasks and we're in the task that we created for our profile. We tap on the plus button in the bottom right. And from here, just search for the word wait. We have a wait option that we can select. And from here, we can set this to wait five seconds or 10 seconds or 15 seconds, however long you think is okay for you. The goal is to give the app plenty of time to finish the initial alert from the Gmail app and then follow it up with that custom one. Now, this will end up creating a double notification sound situation. And that's not really the end of the world. If you leave things here, and that's completely understandable, that you'll just know 
that if you don't hear a second tone after that initial Gmail stock notification alert, then it wasn't from that person or from those people that you have this set up for. Once you have this set to the time that you want, we tap the back button so that it's actually added to this list. But then we want to move this to happen before the ringtone is played. So we long press and then just slide it up. So now we have a wait 15 seconds and then we're gonna play this ringtone. If you don't want this set up to have two notifications playing, then there's another way that we can go about this by simply muting the notification sounds from the Gmail application in general. That way, the tone from Tasker is the only one you will hear, and it will only play when it detects that an email from your previously set up label has been received. So we don't need that wait line here. We can remove that, be sure that's saved. You can then launch the settings application, find the apps section, dive in there so that you can locate the Gmail application. From here, dive into the notifications area and you can actually disable the sound and vibration for the Gmail app. Your app notification will likely look different depending on which phone you have. So it's making that app silent for that email address can look different depending on which OEM made your phone. So now that we have set this up, let's give it a test. Try to remember back to what the custom ringtone sound that I picked. I have sent that email. And once the device received that email, we heard that ringtone sound play through. There's a lot that you can do with this type of setup, and you just saw how complex it can be. This is why it's so baffling to me why Google decided to remove this feature from the Gmail app. However, with that said, they could have easily developed Gmail in a way that could have allowed this type of customization while making it much, much harder for third-party email apps to offer it without them having to bake that functionality right into the app itself. So I do appreciate Google for not taking things too far and making it that much more difficult for the competition. Because that's what is required here if an email app were to offer such a feature the app developer has to code this into the app itself, and it's just not something that every small team has the time or resources to do. So, if anyone had any trouble following along with this guide, then please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below to ask for help. I cannot promise that I will be able to reply to everyone, but I will be here anytime that I am able to help. I do need to ask that you give this video a like to help spread the word and to subscribe to the channel too if you haven't done so already.